Welcome everyone. Today is May 5th. Seeing how the warrant is signed, posted, and been served properly, I'll convene the annual town meeting of the town of Hadley on May 5th, 2016. I know there's a long line of people coming in, so once you get checked in, if you could please get in the seat, that would be great. If we have anyone here who is hearing impaired, um, we do not have signers tonight. You're more than welcome to sit in the front and we have materials at the head table that you can read if you so desire. First order of business is I would like everybody to stand and join in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance. Thank you very much. At this time, I would like to introduce the folks up here at the head tables. On my right is the Finance Committee. Member, Ms. Amy Fiden. Ms. Terry Yushko, Ms. Valerie Hood, Ms. Sue Rondon, and Chairman Mark Kopacki. On my left, we have Selectman John Waskevitz, Selectwoman Chungalo, Selectman Devine, Chairwoman Molly Keegan, Selectman Don Pipshinsky, Town Council Joel Bard, Town Clerk Jeff Spanknable, and Town <coughs> Administrator David Nixon. At this time, I would like to uh, uh, notice any honored guests, and I'm going to call on Ginger Goldsberry to make a presentation real quick. Yes, come on. Thank you, Brian. Um, I hope you can hear me. Um, I'm Ginger Goldsberry. I am a member of the Friends of Lake Warner in the Mill River. Um, I think you know about our organization. Um, and tonight I would like to introduce to you some very special guests to our area and to town meeting. The Environmental Sustainability Fellowship Program with Mexico, Peru, and Uruguay is one of 14 professional fellowship programs sponsored by the U.S. State Department. The goal of this pr program is to bring emerging leaders from around the world to the United States for intensive fellowships designed to broaden their professional expertise. The primary purpose of the fellowship program is to promote mutual understanding and lasting collaboration among professionals working in fields relating to environmental sustainability. The Friends of Lake Warner and the Mill River are honored to be selected as to host two of the fellows from Uruguay. They are here tonight to observe local government in action along with their colleagues who are being hosted by other agencies in the area. They will not be staying for the entire meeting, so please do not be offended when they get up to leave. And that doesn't mean that you all can leave. Please welcome our guests from Uruguay, Mexico, and Peru. Would you stand, please? Thank you. Thank you, Ginger. Also, um, as is, has become a custom, the Mother's Club has refreshments in the back. Please help yourself. And uh, Mr. Pipchinski just told me that they're going to have a Hadley cleanup for the streets of Hadley. It'll be start on Saturday. They have a meeting at 9 o'clock here, right, Dennett? Donald? At Hopkins Academy. So anybody who's looking to volunteer for something like that, it starts at 9 o'clock in the morning, and I believe there's going to be breakfast and lunch. So if you're interested, that's this Saturday at 9 o'clock. Moving on. As has become a custom, the first three articles on your warrant are going to be consent articles. Oh, excuse me, dedications. For the Fred Oakley Award, I'll call on Jess Spanknable. Uh, 
Thank you, Brian. Okay, the W. Fred Oakley Jr. Award was established by the Select Board to honor members of the community who embody the spirit of volunteerism and service to the town. The 2015 recipients of this award are election worker extraordinaires, Helen Bai and Irene Ben Ben. Their familiar faces, welcoming smiles, and warm hellos are only second to their efficiency and work ethic. And there was never even a complaint after working a 16-hour shift. The Town of Hadley would like to thank Helen and Irene for their dedicated service and congratulate them on this well-deserved recognition. Elections are better because of you. Helen Koba Bai was born in Hadley in 1921 and lived on Route 9 in Amherst until her marriage to Anthony Bai, at which time she moved to Woodlawn, Draw, Woodlawn Drive, where she resides today. Helen worked for New England Tell and Tell as an operator until she took leave and joined the U.S. Navy in 1943. While in the Navy, she was assigned to the Navy Relief Office in Portland, Maine. She was discharged in November 1945 and returned to New England Tell and Tell, where she remained until 1956. She then took work at UMass as a secretary until her retirement in 1976. Her side career as an election worker began in 2000, the year 2000 at the ripe young age of 80, and she continues to this day. Irene Solstak Benben was born in Hadley in 1925 and has been a lifelong Hadley resident. She married the Lake Frederick Benben in 1949 and raised two children, Kathy and Peter. Irene worked briefly at the University of Massachusetts for the superintendents and then for the superintendent of the Hadley Public Schools. She was assistant town treasurer from 1978 to 1990 and library trustee from 1988 to 1991. Irene continues her service to the town of Hadley, becoming a faithful election worker in 2000 until 2015. She remains a devoted mother, grandmother, and friend to many. I would like to personally thank Helen and Irene for making me look good while doing their job. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. I would like to call on um, Mr. Jerry Devine. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. This is the dedication of our annual report, and I was lucky to draw Howard Kosky's name. Mr. Howard Kosky has been a longtime volunteer of, ma of many of Hadley's most important boards and committees. His hard work and dedication for many years has helped build a community that's prosperous and vibrant place to live. Mr. Kosky began his service for the town of Hadley in 1991 as a member of the Eastern Hampshire Regional Refuse Planning Board and soon became a member of the Finance Committee. Mr. Kosky served on the Finance Committee with a brief intermission from 1992 to 2015, a nice long stretch, and was instrumental in many, making many official financial decisions on very important matters of the town of Hadley. Mr. Kosky, for those who don't know, is an avid golfer and has 10 holes in one to his name. In addition to that, on a personal note, I'd like to thank Howard for the many, many times I sat down with him asking his advice and seeking his counsel for a lot of the things as a new selectman and a new moderator should ask. He was a wealth of wisdom and always had a strong uh, opinion that uh, was fair in, on every level. So I was proud to, uh, to uh, be able to help and nominate Howard Kosky uh, for the dedication of our annual report. Thank you, Mr. Kosky. Thank you, Mr. Devine. Next, I would like to call on Don Pipczynski. Seeing that former selectman Daniel Dukevitz is here in his lovely white ginger. I would like to ask them to stand and be recognized as I read this dedication. Please, wherever, I know they're here, I'm not sure where they are. In the back, so everybody knows. Without our spouses, we certainly wouldn't be able to do our duties. That's why I wanted to mention his wife. Mr. Daniel J. Dukevitz has served the town of Hadley in many capacities, and his efforts and commitment to the good of the community has always been foremost in his mind. 
Mr. Dukevich started in 1994 by serving on the Conservation Commission and has held many positions on vital committees ever since. He was a member of the Long Range Planning Committee, which developed the town's first master plan. He served on the Community Preservation Committee from its inception, and he served on the select board for many years. As a select board member, Mr. Dukevitz was one of the center of most important decisions that improved the quality of life for residents, businesses, and visitors. Mr. Dukevitz made many leadership decisions that contributed to a better government and best management practices. Dan, I can only say thank you for your services and you know, no politician ever says no, so maybe someday you may return to the board and I would be uh, honored and it would be a privilege if I'm still here to serve with you. Thank you for your services. And finally, I would like to call on Selectwoman Chungalo. My part of dedicating this book, we were um, very fortunate to have um, several people that uh, we were going to dedicate this town book to, and my part is Constance Michkowski. I know she's here this evening, if she would stand. If you would like to come forward, I think everybody would like to see you. <laughs> we can't forget your face. <laughs> Constance, known to most as Connie, was born and raised in Hadley and graduated from Hopkins Academy in 1962. After graduation, Connie worked for the First National Bank of Amherst and then the business office at Amherst College. In 1967, Connie married Eddie Edward Mistkowski and had three sons, Raymond, James, and David. Connie began her career with the town of Hadley in 1977 when she assisted town clerk Amelia Pacala with clerical duties. In 1978, Connie began a 10-year stint as assistant town accountant. Connie served as elected town collector from 1988 to 1991. In 1988, she was also elected to the position of town treasurer, which she held for 27 years. Connie served the townspeople of Hadley with devotion and courtesy, always available and happy to assist anyone who appeared in her office. Connie's retirement in 2015 has not ended her service to the community of Hadley. She is currently treasurer of the Friends of the Hadley Council on Aging, vice president of Hopkins Academy Alumni Association, a member of the Edward Hopkins Educational Foundation, and a member to the Hadley Polish American Citizens Club. To Constance Connie Michkowski, we say thank you with gratitude. You serve your service to the town of Hadley well. Thank you so much. I just wanted to say thank you too. If you hadn't noticed that the um, photographs on the town book on the front and back um, were courtesy of Andrew Morris Friedman. They're very beautiful, nice book this year. Thank you. Thank you, Joyce. <laughs>